Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and today for a little bit of a change I'm going to be talking about another passion of mine besides model railways of course and that passion is food. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this but yeah you hear that some people eat to live but uh, I'm definitely one of those who lives to eat. So in light of that, I've come up with a few food trains for you and you're gonna see what I mean very quickly. So let's get started and I'll show you what's going to be running. All right, so first we have this very lovely West Country class locomotive and she's pulling a train of coaches which consists of nothing but restaurant and buffet cars. <laughs> so on this train, a passenger would walk along the train and decide which restaurant they'd like to stop and eat in and uh, then they sit down and uh, have their dinner. So uh, yeah, that's a little something I came up with. It looks quite interesting, I think. Uh, so let's get it started, the, uh, the super restaurant train. Okay, next up we have a diesel loco, that's the Backman Class 25, and she is going to be pulling a massive range of different branded food wagons. As you can see, there's literally everything on there, as far as the eye can see. Oh, and Bullman, you better get off this train, mate. It might not be summer anymore, but I'll still have me a burger if you're on the food train. Okay, let's get this, let's get this lot started then, um, a lovely diesel food train. The only problem is all this talk of restaurants and burgers and food has got me really, really hungry actually. And it's only half past eight in the morning, so that's a bit of a concern. So if I've gotten you hungry as well, I do apologize. But I'm enjoying this, this is quite interesting. It's not something I've really done before, so yes, yeah, pretty good. It's a nice excuse to run some of my favorite locos together as well. He goes the Backman 25. Of course, I've had to choose quite a powerful and strong locomotive to manage all of these wagons because uh, together there's quite quite a bit of drag from this lot. And uh, there's my Sax Assault wagon there. I don't run that one much because it normally derails, but it's all right today. Seems good. Very impressed though. The, the Class 25 is not a massive loco, is it? But uh, it's managing this lot as though it hasn't got a load at all. So that's just what you want in a loco. It's good and heavy though, so obviously that's what does it. Look at all that lot. What's everybody fancying? I think I might go with some uh, nice white bread and jam actually. And I don't know what the difference would be between these different restaurants, but uh, maybe food from around the world would be nice. That would be interesting I think. There we go, here comes the West Country class hurtling down the line. Oh, they are super duper, aren't they? Always travel in style on the uh, West Country class. Here comes the class 25 with its mega food train. Look at all that. It's quite a nice procession of uh, mixed wagons as well. I like that. Oh, yes. Right, it's time to let the passengers off then, so uh, let's bring this lovely West Country loco to a stop. There we go. Okay, and I'll go and find out where the uh, the goods train is and stop that, and then I'll show you what's coming up next. Here she comes now. I'll wait till she gets into the shop and then I'll let her have a break. Because she's worked very, very hard pulling this lot. Right, oh, we've got to be careful. If you stop this lot too quick, it'll jump off the tracks. There we go. Right, I'm going to take these all off the track, off camera, because it takes quite a while, and then I'll show you what is going to be running next. Okay, so up next we've got the LMS Beverage Express, so drinks. Now, I have to admit, it is mostly milk, because I like my milk. So you've got, I don't know how many there, three, six of the LMS insulated milk vans. But in, just in case you don't like milk and you don't want milk, we've got 7up, we've got a whole wagon of 7up for you. Uh, then lemon juice, which actually, come to think of it, you probably wouldn't want to drink. But if you want a bit of lemon juice, 
there's a whole wagon full for you. Then of course we've got uh, this mystery van here at the back which everyone will recognise but I can't say. But uh, there it is anyway, I uh, hope you would uh, get a nice drink of that. Then a nice brake van on the end. So let's get this lot started. Here we go, take it away girl. City of Birmingham that one is, just in case anyone's interested. There we go, no problem for her at all. There you go, that is my Beverage Express. And last but not least, I thought I'd better had put some real food into this running session, so here's presenting the l &E r Curly Whirly Express. And as you can see, uh, this D16 is going to be pulling some Curly Whirly bites. Now, if you're in England, if you're in the UK, you'll know what Curly Whirlies are, but I suppose you might not if you're from America or another country. So, basically, Curly Whirlies are a chocolate bar uh, made of sort of curly toffee, which has been coated in chocolate. And they normally come in giant long bars, but these are just the bites, so they're a perfect size for putting in model railway wagons. So let's get her started then, the lovely l &E r Curly Whirly Express. Oi, hoofs off my Curly Whirlies, I bought those. Here we are, back to the very lovely Coronation class again, which uh, wouldn't normally be pulling uh, freight or goods, but today is a special day, so <laughs> she's got that. And it's not too much of a long train, that one, so she's managing fine. And here comes the next one, the third train. Come on, you're all thinking it. Very uh, sort of chocolatey smell in the air now, which is uh, fine by me. <laughs> How do I get into these things? I really don't know. I've really enjoyed it though actually, it's been a nice change I think. Sounds like we've got some uh, lemon juice spilt. Ugh, I've got to fix that. <laughs> well all I can say is thank goodness I didn't decide to use real lemon juice in that lemon juice wagon because uh, the smell up here would be rather unpleasant I dare say <laughs> by now. But it's back on for the time being, so touch wood it will be okay. Okay then, I think it's just about time to bring these to a stop, and they're both arriving at the same time, which is good. There we go, hopefully they're in the shop there. There we go, so that is my little food trains running session, and uh, why don't you have a go if you've got some uh, food wagons, or if you've got an idea like this, uh, do it yourself and uh, send me a picture of it on Facebook or Twitter, and if I get enough I might make a video showing those. But yeah, that's it, hope you enjoyed it. Oh, goodness, one of those uh, pieces of curly wordy disappeared then. Oh, that was interesting. Anyway, mm. thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. That was very interesting. Should do that more often, I think. Uh, but that's just about it. So, <laughs> a quick Monday special there for you. Hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like or even a comment. Uh, that would be much appreciated. And this is getting a little disgusting now, so I'm going to stop chewing and uh, I'll say goodbye. Alright, thank you for watching.